Hey guys, just a quick video here on how to uh, join a computer to a domain. So first thing you want to check is make sure that the computers can talk to each other. So you can figure this out by going to your command prompt and typing in IP config. Okay, and you can get your IP address. So 10.1.1.20 and go to the computer that you're trying to join to the domain. So for this case, I have an XP computer here, as you can see, that I am trying to join to the domain. So I'm going to go to my command prompt here and I'm going to go ping 10.1.1.20. 10 I'm going to hit enter and notice how I get the reply so that means that I can talk to that computer so now that I can speak to it uh, I'm going to now join that XP computer to this server window uh, active directory <coughs> so to do that you have to know or you have to have the permissions to join computers to the domain so by default I have the main admin power to the server so I can do that by just entering in the credentials so you go back to the computer that you're trying to join to the domain and you just go down to start click on start uh, you can right click on my computer and you go down here to properties and then here you get the, you know the description and you know all the information about your computer so you go up here to computer name the tab and then you go to change and then you name your computer so I'm gonna name this computer comp01 and down here if you notice I'm a member of a work group so that's by default when you install Windows XP if you don't have a domain you just you're in a work group so I'm gonna go to domain here now this is where you type in the domain name full domain name to the domain that you're trying to connect to so for instance mine as you can find here just in case you don't know you go up to users and computers and that's my domain name right there so technology.net so you go back to your old computer and the domain is technology.net and then hit OK and then you're gonna get the authentication screen so please enter the name of an account that can you know add computers so you got the name and the password hit OK and here you go so welcome to technology.net domain you're gonna have to restart your computer okay so you just give it a restart I'll be right back alright so this is your loading screen now so because we have joined a domain uh, the uh, login policies have changed they don't preview all the users on the computer you have to type in the, your username and password to get onto the computer okay so to do that you have to hit control alt delete okay so your username is p saint -Onge, and the password is the password you created earlier and hit enter. Oops. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can go to options. Sorry, yeah, I'm, I forgot. So you type in the username, and then you go to options, and you change it to tech knowledge. So now you can type in the password and hit enter. And now I am Paul St. Ange on that computer. You know, it always sets up your desktop. Every time you create a user, you know, it's building your profile. 
So there we have it. As you can see now, I'm logged into Paul St. Ange. I do have access, but you know, we will limit that <coughs> and test it out with other users I can create on the the domain. Alright guys, I hope this helped. Uh please, you know, rate, comment and subscribe. I will be dealing with a lot more videos as time passes. Uh, post any comments too, feel free. If you have any questions or need to learn something else, just let me go. Or just let me know. Sorry, I'm kind of going in the motion here of setting up like a server type deal. But if there's anything basic you want to know, just just throw me a comment. Okay, thank you.